हेलो एवरीबडी आई एम डॉक्टर एस एस पाटिल प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वर्ल्ड चेंज स्टॉट टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर सो टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट एनालिसिस ऑफ पी एस सी बीम विथ बेंट एंड डन बाय स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेंथ एंड लोड बैलेंसिंग कंसेप्ट लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू एनालाइज द प्रिस्ट्रेस कॉन्क्रीट बीम विथ बेंट एंड डन by stress strength and load balancing concept so figure 1 shows a pre stressed concrete beam provided with a inclined tendon the beam carries a point load of 160 kN at the center determine the stress distribution for the end section and mid span section of the beam by stress concept the dead load of the beam is 6 kN per meter and verify stresses at mid span by strength and load balancing concepts so here we find the cross section of the beam 400 mm wide and 600 mm deep and the span is 6 meter subjected to a point load of 160 kN at the center and the udl 6 kN per meter that is dead load and the, this tendon is having an eccentricity above the neutral axis 50 mm at the ends and it is having a 100 mm eccentricity at the center below the neutral axis so solution area it is b into d that is breadth into depth it was thought to be 2.4 into 10 to the power of 5 mm square and modulus of section z it is bd square by 6 for rectangular section so it is 2.4 into 10 to the power of 7 mm to the power of 3 and end section if i consider the end section so here this is the end section so at the end section we find if we transfer this prestressing force to the neutral axis it is 1000 kN acting at neutral axis plus 1000 into this 50 mm that will be the bending moment that is p into e that is p into e is the bending moment so this bending moment causes bending compression at top and bending tension at bottom so therefore here we get stress distribution at the end p by a plus or minus p e by z plus means compression at bottom bending compression at bottom and minus means bending tension at uh, bottom and bending compression at top so if we substitute the values we get the stress as 4.17 due to p by a and p by z were sort to be 2.08 newton per m square the stress at top it is 4.17 in plus 2.08 that is 6.25 newton per m square the stress at bottom it is 4.17 minus 2.08 that is 2.09 newton per m square now let us go to the mid span section if we see the mid span section here we will find it is having an eccentricity 100 mm below neutral axis so this p by z will induce a bending compression at bottom and bending tension at top so p by z plus at bottom and minus at top so it is minus at top and plus at bottom p by a that is uniform positive minus or plus p by z then plus or minus m by z where m is the total bending moment total external bending moment is wl by 4 due to point load and wl square by 8 due to udl total is 267 kN meter and if we substitute the values we get the and take the algebraic sum we get the stress at top as 11.13 newton per m square and stress at bottom as minus 2.79 newton per m square next let us solve the same example by strength concept 
for the mid span section so the shift of c line from p line that means from this particular location there will be a shift of c line from p line so that we should find out how to find out it is m divided by p it is bending moment divided by pressing force it is 267 mm so 267 means it goes above the neutral axis because 100 mm is your eccentricity so therefore eccentricity of c line with respect to the neutral axis it is 267 minus 100 it is 167 mm and it is above neutral axis it is above neutral axis so therefore it induces bending compression at top and bending tension at bottom therefore plus or minus so p must be equal to c therefore it is c by a plus or minus c into e dash by z plus or minus c into e dash by z so that will give us the 4.17 is p by a plus or minus p into e c into e dash by z was thought to be 6.96 newton per m square and the stress at top it is addition of the p by a and c by a plus c dash c into e dash by the z it is 11.13 newton per square and stress at bottom it is c by a minus c e dash divided by z it is minus 2.79 newton per square so this is called strength concept so please remember whether you solve it by stress concept or you solve it by strength concept your answer will remain same you cannot if you get a different answer it means you have made somewhere mistake either in the stress concept or in the strength concept you solve it by any particular concept your stress at top and stress at bottom for the mid span section should remain same so this is about the strength concept now let us go for a load balancing concept so load balancing concept in this the upward point load transmitted by the cable at the center is 2p sin theta if you see the figure so this is p that means there must be p here and p here if i take theta is the angle of inclination with respect to horizontal here similarly here if i draw a tangent at uh, this bottom point you will get theta so p sin theta will be the upward component similarly this side p that also p sin theta upward component so 2p sin theta will be a, a upward component of the pressing force in the tendon it will be upward component of a pressing force is 2p sin theta so the horizontal what happens it is having different two different directions therefore it get cancelled only you will get resultant upward so therefore here when you go for load balancing concept the upward point load transmitted will be 2p sin theta if you just take it it works out to be if you substitute the numerical values we get sin theta that can be taken as tan theta because it is very small 150 divided by 3000 so that was thought to be 100 kN so net downward point load will be 160 minus 100 it is 60 kN only net downward will be 60 kN only so bending moment at the center again it is wl by 4 pl wl by 4 plus wl square by 8 it is 117 kilo newton meter so additional bending moment due to eccentricity at the end it is 1000 into 50 divided by 1000 that is it converted into meter so here it was thought to be 50 kilo newton meter so total bending moment is 167 kilo newton meter and extreme stresses which will be p by a plus or minus m by z so why plus or minus m by z because it it induces a bending compressive stress at top and bending tensile stress at bottom 
so in case of load balancing concept we are supposed to take the total bending moment that is the bending moment due to the this particular thing as well as this and we find the stress at top it is 11.13 newton per m square that is the algebraic sum of p by a plus m by z and the stress at bottom is 4.17 newton um, 4.17 minus 6.96 that is minus 2.79 newton per mm square so this is a load balancing concept that means we solve it by stress concept or strength concept or load balancing concept we are supposed to get or we should get the stress at top and stress at bottom same there cannot be any variation in that there cannot be any variation in that particular thing so therefore review question a pre-stress concrete beam provided with a tendon having a bent profile with a angle of inclination theta from the end to the mid span if the total external load is a w kilo newton acting at mid span calculate the extreme stresses for the mid span section the tendon carries a pre-stressing force of p so the net downward load will be tell me the what is the guess what is the right option it is option b that is w minus 2p sin theta that is just we have just seen it it is option b w minus 2p sin theta because w is acting downwards 2p sin theta is acting upwards therefore net load will be the downward load is w minus 2p sin theta so these are references used for preparation of this particular presentation thank you